An Indian Navy contingent and MH-60R helicopters from INS Imphal destroyer took part in the Mauritius Independence Day Parade. India's indigenously built Tejas aircraft successfully test-fired the indigenous Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile, which successfully demonstrated the direct hit of the missile on flying target. The Defence Ministry has signed a 2,906 crore rupees contract with Bharat Electronics Limited for the procurement of Ashwini transportable radar for the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force has set an ambitious target of expanding its fighter aircraft fleet to 60 squadrons by 2047, that translates to a fleet of approximately 1,200 fighter jets. The Ministry of Defence has directed Hindustan Aeronautics to deliver 12 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft in the calendar year 2025, and to scale up production to 20 units annually starting from 2026 onwards. Saudi Arabia has turned its back on the Chinese J-35 stealth fighter jet, and is in talks to join the UK's global combat air program by end of this year. The Indian Air Force and Hindustan Aeronautics are exploring the possibility of integrating the optionally manned combat aircraft technology into the Jaguar Darren II aircraft. The BrahMos NG missile is on track for its first test in 2026, with production to start between 2027 and 2028. A latest SAPRI report reveals that China accounts for 81% of Pakistan's arms imports between 2020 to 2024, which is up from 74% in the previous five-year period. The Aeronautical Development Agency has planned that the weaponized variant of the Archer NG will be equipped with an Acer radar, two Astra Mark I missiles and saw smart anti-airfield weapon and laser-guided bombs. Hindustan Aeronautics has invited private sector firms to form a joint venture, for an efficient and high-quality manufacturing of AMCA fighter jets while meeting delivery timelines. Under the proposed joint venture, Hindustan Aeronautics will hold a 50% stake, while the four private firms will each hold 12.5% stakes, and each firm will manage a specific work package. The joint venture aims to manufacture 126 AMCA aircraft, and the production schedule includes nine aircraft annually from 2035 to 2038, 10 aircraft per year from 2039 onward. The DRDO has announced that it is developing 12 distinct hypersonic missile systems, that includes hypersonic glide vehicles, anti-hypersonic missile systems, and hypersonic cruise missiles. The specifics of the remaining nine hypersonic missile variants remain undisclosed, but they will include a mix of air-launched ship-launched submarine-launched and ground-launched systems tailored for the three armed services. With the first flight of the TED BF now projected for 2030, and induction delayed to 2038, experts have said that the Indian Air Force was justified in distancing itself from the project. The Aeronautical Development Agency had promised a first flight in 2026, but the TED BF development schedule slipped significantly, and these delays have rendered the program irrelevant for the Indian Air Force. Today's Top 3 Comments